welcome to Plumbing Solutions Educational Series. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about our pump system, our lift station. Some people call them a let station, but that's kind of a little brand naming. Um, now, I do have this hooked up to the training center. We are live. I'm running a tub in there, so at any point this thing could fill up and it's going to discharge on us, so be patient when that happens. Uh, but while we're waiting on that, we're going to talk about what we've got here. Uh, now this is the system that we use. Uh, anytime our sewer exits a house, or say it's a basement house or something like that, and our sewer line comes out below the city's tap, or without enough elevation to make it a gravity run, we have to pump it. Uh, and these guys work great for a residential application. Uh, we like these because they come already put together for you. It's not like the old ones where you bought a crock and then uh, you had to get a pump, floats, and then you banded it to the to the pipe inside with a little hose clamp. Uh, this one comes already assembled for you. You don't even have to unbolt this lid. It's ready to go. Uh, it comes on a little rack. Your floats are on this little rack. It's already adjusted for you. Like I said, you pretty much just hook it up plug it in and go. Uh, but this one uses um, a Liberty pump. Uh, this, they, we use a grinder pump. And what makes it a grinder pump is it's got a little propeller, a little metal propeller right here that will spin and it grinds it against this cheese grater looking thing. Uh, it can handle all kinds of stuff. Um, it, it can even actually handle a baby wipe, but only one. Uh, <laughs> Once it gets four or five in there, that little propeller starts slowing down, slowing down, and then eventually it stops and you've got a problem. Uh, so you want to be real careful what you flush down your toilets when you've got a pump system. Uh, but how it works is we got the 45 gallon crock here. As the sewer water comes into here, it starts filling it up. It's got a float system. And when that float starts to float and flips over, it makes the connection to turn the pump on and the pump will run until the float flips all the way back over. Uh, even though it's a 45 gallon crock, every time it discharges it's about 40 gallons of water because it doesn't get rid of all of it. Um, another accessory you've got here with this guy. Uh, there she goes. Now, like I said, that's about 40 gallons of water in a matter of seconds. Now, when you pump it at a long distance, uh, it's not going to have as much force as that, but since it's just right to here, it's able to move that water as fast as it possibly can. Now, where were we? Um, the accessories to this guy. Uh, oftentimes, we use these. This is an extra float, and it goes to an alarm. And this one sits on top of that other clip there. Now you don't have to have an alarm on these, but it's a really neat feature. If this pump were ever to get stuck or clogged or the float were to get stuck or fail, uh, this second float, when it lifts up and flips over, it's gonna kick this alarm off. It's a little red light that flashes uh, and it makes a whole heck of a lot of noise to warn you, stop using your sewer system uh, because something's wrong with your pump. The other thing that goes along with this, uh, that's an accessory, we use these things. It's called a riser. Uh, if you've got one, you're going to have one of these big green lids out in your yard. This thing is buried in the ground and this sits on top. It protects these pipes and keeps that vent from where you can't see it. It's a pretty neat self-contained system. Uh, they're real easy, they're reliable. Uh, the most trouble I've had with these guys is when people are dumping a lot of grease. Uh, and I, I've met a lot of people that say, well, I don't dump grease down the kitchen, but you've got grease in all kinds of things. Uh, there's animal products in soaps, shampoos, all kinds of different stuff, and it does put uh, grease in here and there's not really anywhere for it to go so you would have to clean that out and the best way to do that is just take this top off 
and get in there and scoop <laughs> that fat greasy layer off the top of it. It doesn't really mess with the pump too much, but what it does is it gets all around these floats and it stops them from working. It makes them stick to things. Um, something else to talk about, the way this guy kind of works is I love it. It's a pretty quick pump. Uh, it's got kind of like a little Christmas tree plug we call it. Uh, this one is for your float and then you have another plug that's for your pump and you plug those together and then of course plug that into a weatherproof wall outlet on the outside. Um, and that's, that's pretty much how it works. The float makes the connection, uh, well, it's actually in here, but it makes that connection so that pump knows to kick on. And the whole float setup is so your pump's not running all the time. It's only kicking on, and then it's gonna cool off, and then it's gonna kick on again. Uh, pretty neat setup. Uh, like I said, we use them when we can't make our gravity, gravity fall to our city tap or if we've got a basement or something like that and you've got to pump it up to that first floor.